And welcome to day three of the NAB AFLW Under 18s from Blacktown International Sports Park. Today we have Queensland versus WA. And with me, my name's Julia Price, and with me is Shiloh Curtis, AFL women's commentator, former All Australian player, and footy admin officer. And also we have Renee Forth, AFLW Giants player and development coach this year. Welcome, ladies. Great to be here. And again, yes, the sun is shining. It's, this is a wonderful tournament so far. And I know we're going to head up to Broadbeach in, in uh, Queensland in, in the, the next part of the series. But it's great to have excellent conditions for the girls to be able to put their skills on show. And, you know, in front of AFL recruiters and their, and their club development staff, it's... Um, you know, terrific conditions and the girls couldn't ask for a better day to, to play out this this round of the of the tournament. It is really nice conditions. We did get to see Queensland in the wet, so it would be nice to see them in the dry and see what they're capable of. Absolutely. And a bit of a recap over the weekend, Queensland defeated New South Wales ACT 36-24 to 3-3-21. And yesterday, New South Wales ACT were defeated by Western Australia two goals straight 12 to Western Australia's monstrous 15-9-99. Obviously, the highlight being Kate Bartlett with her seven goals, so she did a, a fantastic job. But today, it's all about Queensland and Western Australia. So I'll pass to Shiloh Str straight up players to watch today for Queensland. Oh, look, it's hard to go past Gabby Collingwood. She's just so versatile. Her read of the play is excellent. She uses the ball really well and she makes great decisions. And I love her work rate, really leads from the front. Their captain and Ariana Clark, she's just the package, so balanced and tough, hard with her body and um, leads her girls, so, her girls so well. And then the one that I really liked the other day is a, she's, a, she's a, a great addition to the Queensland unit, Katara Farah. She's 16, turned 16 in March. She's from South Cairns. They picked her up in the kickstart competition and uh, making her debut here in the 2017 championship she is a star of the future fantastic and Renee who have you uh, spotted from the Western Australian being Western Australia yourself I'm assuming you know these players extremely well I actually only know half of the team today so it's good to see the extra talent that's coming through and I know seven players quite well who came away to the nationals and one of the ones that I really love to watch to play is Sabrina Duffy. She's got great run and carry, really good composure, and I like her leadership on the field. Like She's not the captain, so we've got um, Yugo as captain, and she's a great kid, really good head on her. So um, it's good to be led by her. Sabrina's the vice captain along with um, Sonia Derizzi. So they've got some good leaders out there. Uh, um, Sabrina Duffy is one to watch, and Courtney Hodder for a bit of excitement. She's got good attack of the ball. Yeah, she was fantastic yesterday. Definitely one of the, the best players on ground. Interesting as well, Charlotte, the, the leadership group they've got with the Western Australians. They've, they've got a, a, an all-Indigenous leadership group. Yeah, there's been a fair bit of um, restructuring up in WA around their talent program with Clint Degabold, last year's under-18 captain, taking the reins there as, as the program director now. Um, and he's done a fair bit of work on making sure that they're harnessing the amazing Indigenous talent over in WA. We know their Clontarf program in their schools is so strong and they've really worked closely with Clontarf as well as their Kickstart program. And for those that don't know, the Kickstart Championships, the National in Indigenous Championships, they run alongside the All Nations Championships as part of the, the AFL's National Diversity Pro uh, Championships program that they run for both the boys and the girls. And certainly in WA, we, Courtney Hodd is a product of that. NT's Danielle Ponto was found through Kickstart. And as I said before, Katara Farah as well. So it's, a really, it's really great to see WA, you know, harnessing their Indigenous talent and bringing them in to the program so that, you know, as we move forward that you know having indigenous players as part of our women aflw competition is just part of the norm and it's not something we have to build on later on down the track so i think it's 12 of their 23 or 24 players they've brought away are actually indigenous and many of whom have come out of the kickstart champ so well done to wa on that leadership there absolutely brilliant to see now that you mentioned the, the style of play of queensland the other night having to play in the wet playing western australia today very different entity well, how would you approach the game today uh from either side so obviously you've got to just use your run and carry. If you've if you've got a good run on a nice field, like it's we'll like to, we'll probably see a very fast paced game today and hopefully hit some short targets. So the last uh, couple of games that I've watched, the girls aren't stopping and using as much short targets as as what I'd like to see. They're putting it on the boot and trying to kick it as far as they can. So I'd like them to slow down and start hitting some targets and keeping the ball, keeping possession of the ball. Absolutely, and we're seconds away from the ball up. So Queensland, good start. Little tap from Lauren Bella. She had a good game the other, the other night. Little handball at the back. Western Australia moving it quickly through Derizzi. Drives it deep inside 50. Over the back, though, and beautifully read. By the, new, by the Queensland defender. That's Ruby Blair, who was just a star last year in this championships. 
And that's your Katara Farah having a first touch on the, on the ball already. Can't quite control it there from Collingwood, who had a, a blinder the other night as well. So barreled over the near boundary line for the first boundary throw in. Smart play there by, um, by Collingwood to get the ball over the boundary to get a reset and start again. That's Taylor McCauliffe from Western Australia in the ruck there. Just gets a little fist on it to her advantage. Running through the pack is Sabrina Duffy. Tries to get it out the back. Can't hold the mark, unfortunately. Duffy is a very exciting and smart player. I love how she breaks through lines like that. Definitely. Cara Data should be disappointed she didn't take that, but she had a great game the other night as well. Really worked hard. Queensland playing on quickly, running it out of their inside 50. Finding Mackenzie Dowrick at the back there. Good little handball away. Just got away from her opponent. Pops it on the boot. Back inside 50 for Western Australia. And that's your pick in Farrah, Shiloh. Getting some good touches early. Good defensive work there from Groves Little from Queensland. Well, one of the things that we'll be looking at to see with these girls is, you know, particularly the girls that are making the debut or they've come off, come in from other championships, is how they back up with repeated games in, 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 a, in a short period of time. So often fatigue of these championships is a major issue. But, um, you know, so far so good, obviously, first quarter. But we'll keep an eye on how they run in the second half of the game. So a big punch forward there by Bella, but straight into Durizzi and who... Hits it over, kicks it over near to the, the far boundary line for another boundary throw in. It's going to be a quick pace game, this one. Absolutely. There's a lot of fast outside runners in these teams. And one of them, actually, in, in Karadada, has just come off with a. I think she landed awkwardly in that marking contest with the sore wrist. So they're having a look at her on the bench, but uh, hopefully she gets back out on the ground soon because she's very exciting. Well read there by the Western Australians trying to bring it back in. That's Madison Eugle. Queensland inside 50, clearing it again back down the far wing. Getting a little bit of carry on here. Off the left boot. Good lead out in front. Can't hold it. Western Australia trying to clear it, clear it out through Sargent. Snapping it back in. Another left footer over the back. A little bit off target. Queensland come through. Can't hold her feet. That's Georgia Bremer. And she's piled on and over the shoulder and gets the free. So the first shot on goal here. By Queensland, their first opportunity to score for the game. Well, that was really sloppy from the WA girls. They didn't need to sort of pile on on top with such pressure. They just needed to hold the ball in, get a stoppage, and they could reset. But instead, they've turned the ball over just by driving the knees into the back of, of Georgia Bremer. And, uh, you know, you can't afford to do that in front of goal. I was also watching how they were all... There was, like, four of the WA girls chasing and not, not, a, not many finding their player. Absolutely. Western Australia not being able to hold that mark and unfortunately just chipping it straight down the throat of Kalinda Howarth, who was also really, really good the other night for Queensland. Look, she's really dangerous in that high half-forward role and they've got to make sure they're accountable for her because a lot of the, the drives forward inside deep, you know, inside deep 50 went through her and again, you know, she's held that spot on the wall and she's got this shot on goal. She has a beautiful kick, Kalinda. She's one, also part of the uh, Nationals, so the Academy, sorry. Well... Normally she does have a beautiful. I wonder if <laughs> did she Astro does. Connor just teach her that little yeah. what was that little bunny step there? That was it's a little bit of a karaoke thrown in there. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of river dance perhaps. <laughs> she does like a um, a tighter angle shot, but she does have a beautiful kick normally. It's a common cat commentator's curse there, Renee. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> I'm sure she's gonna be happy about that. Queensland not being ta- not being able to control it, taps it back inside. Good work there. Wheeling around. That's yeah. Ariana Clark, the captain. Back inside 50 again for Queensland. Being relentless. Good desperation there from Jessica Cox from Western Australia. Good country and girl. And the ball, she's got pinned for keeping the ball in, I think. That's, uh, but Queensland have played on quickly. Spots a teammate. Beautiful. Well done by Sophie Conway. Running off her player to be about... Looks like it's hard to see that 50 metres. It looks like about 40 metres out she'll be. Be able to kick this. Yeah, it's poor defence there from the WA girls. They didn't locate soon enough and really good work by the Queenslander to just take advantage of that. And uh, she's, she's running there and taking an uncontested mark inside, oh, probably on the 30 metre line. So um, poor defence there. It's good that the kicker wasn't just looking straight down into the goal square. They do open up and look left, look right. Beautiful. She's hit that pretty well, but it looks like it's been touched on the line. Good defensive work from Western Australia there. So another behind to Queensland. It's their second one for the game so far and the only scores. Doing the kick-in is Mackenzie Dowrick. She was great yesterday as well. Oh, uh, both teams seem to have pushed a fair way down the field at this stage. Has that gone out in the full? Unfortunate error there from Western Australia. 
Queensland will be looking to centre this. I'd imagine a bit of a tight angle. Not sure how the coaches are going with the anti-congestion rules in place at the moment, but um, <laughs> there are two players in one half of the four, two pairs in one half of the ground. So good effort there by WA to find a loose target in, McKen in Mackenzie Dowrick as she kicks out to the wing. And Dowrick's obviously been moved off the half forward line where she was yesterday. So she's obviously they were really impressed with her kicking in into the forward uh, fifty the other day. So now she's working on the opposite, <laughs> the kicking the uh, outside of fifty into being good in a defensive game. Dowrick again, straight down the far wing. Can't hold it. Holds her feet though. That's uh, Poppy Bolts. Derek came down to Coastal Titans a couple of years ago and she has a whopper left foot and her right also is quite big as well. So she's a beautiful kick. So Caitlin Hill moved into the ruck, doing the ruck work here for Western Australia now against Bella. Bit of a falcon there. West Queensland clean up quickly. Good quick hands there from Kalinda Howarth down the far wing. Picks it up again. A lot of different conditions today for Queensland in the dry but hits it straight down the throat of Emily Maguire for Western Australia. Who is normally a forward. Interesting. So Derizzi. Well, that was Ricky Ryan, I believe, but she has a turnover. Big left foot. Queensland back inside 50. Can't take the mark over the back. Good effort, though, from Talia Hickey. Coming through to clean up is Gemma Abbott. They can't control the ball, and it's bundled over for a boundary throw-in. Well, at the moment, the WA girls are just a little bit flat-footed. They're very reactive. They're not sort of initiating the play, and, and it's all Queensland. I guess Queensland are playing this game on their own terms at the moment with uh, too many WA players trailing. So it's great to see Queensland's up. They're on their toes. Great initiative, and they would have seen that score yesterday and know they've got to work really hard from the start. Brings the ball in. Beautiful work to clear it out the back there by Queensland. Two on one. Can't pick it up cleanly. That's Howarth again. Little handball out by Western Australia. Trying to clear it. Does the fend off. Just gets a boot to it. Well done from Western Australia. Numbers. Queensland. Got to talk. Manages somehow to get through. That was Duffy finding a way through. Good pressure from her, but turnover. Good seconds and thirds from Duffy. Good grab. Or attempted grab at the back there by Ariana Clark. Tries to climb up. Yorston puts it on the boot. Queensland wheels around. That's Bremer again. She was good the other night. Queensland head over the ball, trying to get the ball, picking it up. Popping it out the back. Cleaned up by Western Australia in Pickett. And that's straight to Caitlin Hill. Pushes back off the mark. Tries to play on quickly, but nowhere to go. Drives it down the near wing. Over the top. Queensland react quickly. Through doors. Little handball inside. Can't find a target. Great work again from Duffy. Her work in traffic is exceptional. Mm. She, 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 it'd be good to see how she went in Sydney traffic this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Queensland can't quite clear it out again. Cleanly. Ball killed and the boundary umpire, the central umpire will ball it up. Well, at the moment, this is a really congested game, so there's not much easy free ball available for these players. The players need to really push back on all those anti-congestion rules, keep the play nice and open so we can actually have a good look at their skills and, and get that ball moving through the ground easier. Hot up, not being able to clear it. Queensland's getting the smother in there. And the near wing again, wrapped up by Queensland. It's popped out the back. Umpire's going to ball it up. Interesting then that player played for the free kick. She drove her neck into the player's arm and the tackle and the umpire didn't fall for that, so that was terrific. Bella, good tap forward. Can't be controlled by Ryan. Centering kick, wheels around nicely. Well done by Grider. Straight down the throat of Farquharson. Farquharson. There we go. I got it straight up. Thanks, Zimmy. Little chip, little 15-year-old. Good composure there by the 15-year-old and kicks it straight into the arms of Tavia Dunn. And that is ex actually what WA needs to do. You know, I, we want to move the ball fast, until you, but if you don't have the game on your own terms, you've got to win the, win the momentum back and you've got to do it through slowing the play down, picking out your targets and finding your shorter options like that. It's a good hit by Dunn. Has hit it cleanly. No one can take it, though. Ball's been sucked in. Queensland try and pop it out the back. Western Australia all over it. And there's a... The goal. Kalinda Howarth, great goal by her for Queensland to be the first goal of the game. She's well, an it? exciting player to watch. Yeah, she is look really exciting and she had she just is so dangerous every time she goes near the ball. And you know, we saw there 
she was pretty uncontested, actually. When the ball fell to the fall of the contest, she, she was right there at the, at, at the feet of the contest. And, you know, she wasn't manned up very well. She, had, she was in a one-on-three situation. To be able to get the ball through for a goal, um, you know, it was almost inexcusable if you've got three players around you. So um, terrific effort from Howth, and uh, she certainly uh, has made her mark straight up, put WA on the back foot. She can really hurt a team, so she does need to be manned up. Bellum Hill continue, so Bella taps it down, but Duffy driving forward again. Good position and a little bit of muscle under the ball there from Kate Bartlett, who I mentioned kicked six, seven goals last night. So she'll be keen to kick some more today, no doubt. A little handball from a Califf. Short handballs, can't clear it out, Western Australia. Good pressure from Queensland. It's good to see Kate using a bit of her body. She hasn't got much weight on her, so that's something that if she wants to get drafted, she does need to be doing... Bella, big punch forward again. Probably should have picked it up there from the Queenslander and Kalinda Howarth. On the far side, this is Farah kicking it down the far wing. Well, I guess, Renee, that's been a feature of, of this tournament this weekend, really. The defensive pressure from the forwards has been outstanding from all the teams that have been playing. So it's really good to see the girls are learning to balance their game with both offence and defence wherever they're playing. Absolutely. There was some good work there by Emily Maguire, but unfortunately puts it down the throat of Howarth again, I think it is. She's racking up the possessions. Goes to centre, but beautifully read there by Michaela Bowen, I think it was. That was a good intercept mark. Okay, looking for a teammate in Derizzi. Little quick, quick handball at the back. Probably needed to follow that up and support oh. her teammate. Didn't quite get there. Well, they're out here if they get this ball. Caradada drops the ball. Good pressure again from Queensland, but good numbers from Western Australia. Snaps around the corner again. That's Bowen. Seems to be a bit of a trademark, that kick. Karadada knocked off the ball. Good pressure from Bowen on Groves Little. She's got a but bit of time here. She's oh. out. Jones can't control the bounce. And there's been a free found in there. Maybe in the back. <laughs> Quite sure that was four. Maybe in the back, yeah. I don't know how many um, tackles Derizzi just laid them, but she was tackling up on her half forward and then worked her way back to tackle back there too. So she's got it again. She's working really hard. And Clark and Derizzi just having a bit of uh, kick to kick there, back and forward. It's a smarter play. Just control, starve Queensland of the football. Little short passes, try and find the loose players. No bomb, long kicks. Hugel down the field. Good body work. Farrah comes running through, can't get a hand on it. Drives it back inside 50 for Western Australia. No one's picking it up, chipping it around. Queensland head over the ball. Tries to clear it out. It's a terrible kick. Here goes Hot Up. She's got some good pace. But some good work from there from Farrah out the back, cleaning up. Little chip over the <laughs> <cell>. <laughs> <laughs> That was outstanding. <laughs> Oh, and she's been at the free kick, so they've done pretty well out of that Queensland. The kick from Hotter then, she hasn't had many touches, but she was the reason why the ball went inside 30 in the first place with that body work that she did earlier. And then she, a really smart kick to put it to the advantage of her teammate in the forward, but uh, didn't get that shot on, unfortunately. Queensland play on quickly. Spots Ruby Blair sitting out. Good handoff. Couldn't quite take <laughs> it. They would have been away up. then by, that was Alana Perry. Western Australia lose their feet. Good hands there by Kate Bartlett. Having a shot on goal and just missing to the left for Western Australia's first points with about 40 seconds left on the clock. Good to see Bartlett, little hands off, not just blazing away at goal either. You know, she's prepared to do the score assist as well as actually taking her opportunities when they're legitimately there. So kicking back in. Can't hold the mark. Good smother from Western Australia. Grider trying to clear it for Queensland. And this near wing, they're working the clock well, Queensland. No time on, as mentioned by Shiloh before. That's Kalinda Howarth. Play on, Hodder. They've got a chance here. If she can just get there, that's a great work from Hodder. Beautiful kick to space. And we've got Deegan, who was great Ooh. yesterday. Oh, and I'm just out of time for the Western Australians. A beautiful kick by... Deegan, who was also a bit of a standout last night as well. So at the end of the first quarter, we have Queensland leading one goal, two, eight to Western Australia's one behind.
And we're back for the second quarter of the NAB, NAB AFLW under-18s game between Queensland, Western Australia. Queensland currently with a seven-point lead. One goal, two, eight to Western Australia's one behind. Uh, players, players that have been fantastic so far, Charlotte, for Queensland. Oh, look, it's really hard to go past Kalinda Howe. She's been really strong, uh, really leading well across that half-forward line. And, and she's making sure that Queensland capitalises on their number of inside 50s. And, look, they're playing the game on their own terms at the moment. They've got fresh legs. They played Friday night, had a rest day, and then they've come back in, you know, knowing that WA is playing their second game in 24 hours, and they're playing and holding that front position. So good start from the Queenslanders. Renee, Western Australia for you. Yes, so I know I've said this name quite a few times. Duffy, uh, it's great watching her get the ball out of the traffic and getting it on the boot. It would be good to see her, um, instead of just gaining distance, trying to hit a target and keeping possession. Absolutely. Bella tapping down beautifully to her midfielder. Can't quite clear it out of that midfield. Great work. Great pickup. And gets the free oh, yeah. Ariana Clark. Injected herself into the midfield now. Well, that's the sort of leadership you want from your captain too, isn't it? You just want to put your head over the footy and own, and own the ball. Absolutely. Mentally, uh, Ariana is definitely AFLW ready so far, so she'll be a good pick-up if everything else falls into place for her. Ruby Blair, a little clearance out the back, trying to find somewhere to kick to. Good pressure on Collingwood there from Western Australia. Well run on by Queensland, trying to find some space out the back here with Conway. Runs around her, op her opponent. Chips it overhead down the near wing. Good little tap on there by Queensland just to find some space and buy themselves a little bit of time. Pick it. Can't get it cleanly off the boot. This is, this is Yorston in there. Hot, a great fight. Clears it out, finds some space to Fabry. He chips it over the shoulder, McAuliffe. Oh, nearly a great grab there by Deegan. Ooh. Bowen can't get it off clearly. Little kick off the ground there by Yorston again. Oh, led with the head. No free awarded, though. Good pressure around the ball from Western Australia. That's McG Emily Maguire again. Hot up. Well wrapped up by Queensland. Good pressure. That's Conway trying to clear it. Umpire hasn't called it. Still it's still going. <laughs> They're going to play the whistle of the girls. Well done from Lauren Bella. Find some space. Queensland are out here if they want to keep going through Howarth. Kicks beautifully to space and oh. a great job by there by Talia Hickey. Pushes back, goes around the mark a little bit, tries to find someone top of the square, can't hold the mark. Bundled out the back by Jessica Cox. Calling for deliberate, Queensland, but they're going to... Get a boundary throw in just to the left of their goals. It was a terrific kick there by Howarth to really promote that hard lead from her teammate Nikki and uh, open up that corridor. So she's a, she's a, she's a great thinker of the, um, when she's got the ball. So the Hickey tap down. Western Australia can't get it cleanly. They keep it in and disguises that beautifully over on that far side. A little bit of pressure with Queensland hot on her heels there. I'm loving the pressure from Queensland. They really, they really want this. They've seen the result yesterday. They know they've got to bring their A, ga a game. And there's a bit of rivalry between these two states. So um, it's great to see them both really hotly contesting this ball. So the Queensland driving it back in. West Australia hasn't gone 15. Big boot down the far wing. Queensland move it quickly. Look to centre it. A little bit of air on it. I think that'll be a free by Hodder. She almost carried that off too. Just chopped the arms there a little bit. Queensland through Hampson. Looks inside. Another left boot. I haven't seen this many left footers for a long time. Western Australia tapping it forward. Try, great defensive work there from Bremer, and she's going to be rewarded with that. Again, great defensive pressure there from the forwards. Super work. Little handoff to a teammate in Kalinda Howarth, who <laughs> scores her second goal for the game, taking Queensland to two goals to 14 over Western Australia, one behind. I can say now that she's kicked that goal, she does have a nice kick. <laughs> <laughs> no, it certainly does. And, you know, she, her eyes lit up. She knew she was within range. And you know, it, it, this is the benefit of the girls playing together for a number, of, a number of years. They know each other really well. They trust each other. The little handoff there from Georgia Bremer, she probably knew she was beyond her range. Little handoff there to Howarth, who just loaded up, was there 
their run contested and, and was able to finish. And she's probably done that at training over and over and over again as a set play. So terrific finish there from Howarth, really showing what she's capable of and letting the world know that, uh, yeah, she's draftable coming this year and the Brisbane Lions should certainly have a look at her. Absolutely. So we've got Bella to continue in the middle. Again, Clark using a body well. Little shove in the back, play on, says the umpire. Not in the forward line, so you don't get paid those. Bella again out the back to Groves Little, drives it back just a little short on the uh, height there for Queensland. Little tap forward by Yorston again. She's been good, good possessions. Oh, can't hold that mark, and that was Hickey. And it's barreled over the boundary line again. West Australia just aren't in this game at the moment, Charlotte. They seem a little bit reactive. And look, I think the other thing is Queensland is really prepared to play quite a lateral game. They're using the corridor and very happy to do that. And I think that's really stretching the transition work by WA at this point. So they've got to just go back to basics, create the one-on-ones and then beat the one-on-ones when they've got the ball. And here's Duffy driving through as she does. Good hand. Does Queensland get a little hand on that ball just to try and negate that? Big kick that she's got, but beautifully read there by Dowrick. Gee, she's got terrific hands, hasn't she? Uh, Renee, you've, have you played with her over in WA? Do you know much about her there? Yeah, she plays um, back at my old local club, Coastal Titans. She does have beautiful hands, um, a massive kick, and she is playing in the league team now. I'm really loving it because she does compete really well against the bigger bodies and the women. And she's only a 17-year-old, so she's still got 12 months away. She's got 12 more months of development, but already she's got great height, great body strength. She backs herself in and beautiful hands and finishes quite well. Groves Little drives it deep. Oh, out the back. Hickey can't hold it. Trying to pick it up. And that's Bremer. Beautiful little crumb. And uh, gets her first goal for the uh, weekend. I've really noticed so far that Queensland have been a lot more composed with their passing the ball use and just when they've got the ball in their hands they aren't panicking as much and I think a lot of them are also providing better options so um, WA need to provide better options for each other so that their players aren't panicking as much with the ball and I'd really like to see them get possession keep possession you know control the tempo hit shorter targets and instead of just bombing it long to a one-on-one and and then it possibly going the other way again. So we've got Talia McAuliffe just Coming off the field now, hoping that con- contesting mark that she had with Bella, she might have copped a bit of a boot, I think, in the stomach. She looks stomach. Like she's holding her wrist, actually. It looks like she's uh, she might have landed awkwardly in that rucking contest. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're being very gentle with her getting off the field. She's in a fair bit of pain, and uh, we'll get some more information about her as the game continues. So, yeah, she looks pretty sore. We might be the last we see of her. So Bowen wheeling around there to try and find Bartlett, try to create something. Great work from Deegan. Good quick hands to Valentini. And a great mark. West Australia, good comeback. And straight down to the throat of Smith bin Omar, who I know copped a heavy knock yesterday too on the, on the pitch playing here at Blacktown. There's a cricket pitch out in the middle, as there should be in every field. <laughs> There wasn't much pressure on her taking that mark. It was a nice, easy chest mark, which shouldn't be that simple right on the top of the square. So uh, the first goal for the carnival for Smith bin Omar. And that's what WA need to do a little bit more of. They've just got to own that front spot a little bit more, be really proactive, really hunt the ball, do the work to get that front spot, get separation on their opponent. And as you see there, she's been able to protect the drop zone really well of the ball, take the chest mark and, and, and then convert. And convert from exactly where you want to be, Renee, right in the corridor, 10, 15, 20 metres in front, so you're within range, so you make sure it's an absolute result. So... Really good work there. Good to get the, the response back from the WA girls, but they've got to continue this if they're going to stay in this game. So Queensland leading three goals to 20 to Western Australia's one goal, one seven. As we just... That's Caitlin Hill is um, in the ruck now, replacing McAuliffe. Hickey also for Queensland, pushing up them. Try to clear it out. Hodder. Can't quite control it, but... She's quick and somehow gets a boot on that ball. Drives it out the other side. Good work there from Queensland. Can't get it out cleanly, though. Little handoff. Duffy waiting there patiently on the outside so she can make this break. And the umpire's going to ball it up. Still in the centre square. 
Hill Hickey. Hickey gets a good tap down. Duffy reads it well. Can't pick it up cleanly. Hodder in the back. Play on, says the umpire. Still looking for a clearance here. Gets it through Deegan. Good front position there. Maybe a little shove from Bartlett. She'll be looking to increase her number of goals. And that's going to be out of bounds. Good contesting by Caradada there. It's good to see there. Uh, actually, at the moment, Kate Bartlett's player, when she went down in that contest, her direct opponent um, came up pretty sore and then she's, she's actually hurt her shoulder and Bartlett's actually helping her up and actually signalled to Queensland's bench to get her some support. So that player is actually coming off with a sore shoulder at the moment. Good work from Bartlett to help her opposition player out. And that was Ruby Blair, but some good, uh, great sportsmanship there from Kate Bartlett. Hopefully, Duffy again, sorry. Hopefully Ruby Blair is okay. She's um, recently been injured and just come back from being injured, so it was good to actually see her get out there and have a run. And she was definitely one of their best the other night, so it'll be interesting to see what they do here. So a ball up at the moment, about 40 metres inside Western Australia's forward 50. Duffy, as she does, drives through traffic, but uh, is dispossessed and gives away the free kick to Ellie Hampson. So on the boot out the back. Good fly. Oh, Great terrific. work. Perfect mark. Absolutely. So that was Courtney Bromage. Finds Farah. Looking for numbers. Hotter in front. Hasn't got the height. Groves Little. Check side. Tries to find a teammate. Lots of yellow jerseys around here. Big hit. That's the rugby league in the Queenslanders by Ariana Clark. This game's just gotten a little bit hotter after that last goal. You know, they, I mean, both teams have really upped the ante now. I think WA has now come to play. They're trying to be they're trying to assert themselves into this game, and we're seeing a really physical contest. So head over the ball again. They've locked it in there, Collingwood. So we're seeing a lot of congestion at the moment between the two arcs, and the game is really being played across here. So either team's got to roll the dice and try and get the ball out a bit more laterally through the corridor, open the game up a little bit, otherwise they're going to get caught in the congestion here. Good work for there from the West Australia, and great follow-up. But straight down the throat, not on the full, to Collingwood, takes it beautifully on the half volley, snaps it around in his shoulder, and well read. Great stuff from Natalie Greider. Big fly from the back. Oh, you've got to pay that. Terrific courage from the WA player to put herself there in front. That was um, Michaela Schoenfeld. Terrific work to own, try and get that front spot. Uh, her brother plays for Gold Coast Suns. See, it's a good family, a football family. But uh, straight down the throat for Western Australia. They're out here with Madison Yaron. She's been exciting last night. Can't hold the... Can't hold the mark was Hampson from Queensland. Ball on the ground again, tapping it out the back. Trying to look for some, someone to get it to. That was Ricky Ryan. Drags it back in again. When WA are bringing the ball inside 50, if they're not going to be hitting a, a, a target that's free or out onto the lead, then their player needs to be playing in front because a lot of the time it's landing in the Queensland's lap. So they say... Madison Yaron with the, the free kick here. She's another really exciting prospect for the WA team. She's just had such a great impact the other night. So, Good looking kick. Drops the leg around and I think no Queenslanders have touched that on the line. So Michael Gugliotta won't be happy with the Queensland defenders there. So Madison Yaron with her first goal for today. Well, when you've got four players in your squad that are 180 centimetres plus, there should be someone tall and down on that line. Um, but, yeah, look, you know, terrific work from Yaron. I mean, the, the kicking technique to get a bit of extra distance was a little bit unorthodox, maybe a bit of a rugby influence there, but uh, certainly got the result. And, look, Yaron is exciting. I really love how she plays. Her hardness is terrific. Her inside work and, you know, her repeated efforts running is just outstanding. And that's what I'm loving seeing about the girls at the moment and the whole competition, the evolution of this game. They were just working so hard, whether it's an offence or defence. So terrific effort. Sophie Conway now in the ruck for Queensland. Taps it out wide. Queensland come up with it. Collingwood puts it on the left boot. Spots her teammate in Jones free. Goes back to her again. Good lead from the front. Queensland can't control it though. That, was Ruby. that wasn't Ruby Blair, I don't think. I think that might have been Tani White out in that far wing. And the ball's gone out. 
Tori Groves Little has just had a little knock there, I think. She's uh, pretty sore in the middle of the ground. The trainers have gone out to her. She's staying on the field, but, uh, yeah, might have rolled her ankle just a little bit maybe. Okay, ball's popped out of that. Collingwood gets it back inside. Very clever. That's got to be play on. No, the umpire's paid that. That's a short 15, but we'll take it. Looking downfield, Sergeant. Straight to a player. Good work. Oh, that's two Sergeant, in fact. Got to keep looking for an option here. Just not bomb it. And she does. <laughs> but let's... Yeah, that's Front position. Great. Good work there. Great marking by Smith bin Omar. Well, it's good to see her using her body strength to own that front spot and, and, and get that mark. Little touch on it. No one wants it. Farrah comes up with it. Running it out. Have good a bounce. control of the bounce. Have another one. <laughs> <laughs> She's backing up. Wow. Good, good work there from the Queenslanders. Helping great out support. There. And really great finish. This is our wangy. Little... Tap on there by White. Can't clear it out. Good defensive work trying to clear it. Won't That's get rid of it. Uh, She's been swung around a few times and should be pinged for that. Absolutely. So we'll at the end of the second quarter, we have Queensland three goals, 220, leading a defiant Western Australia. Absolutely. They're back in this WA. So they're at 2-1-13. And will we back... In about 10 minutes for the second half of this NAB AFLW under-18s game between Queensland and Western Australia. card is not recording. It just comes up on the camera. It can't record. And it's the only one. It's the only one I have. It, I've never seen this before. It just comes up, says can't record, and it's got a little red X on the screen. No, it's half time, but we did the first quarter recorded okay. Yeah, and then the second quarter, it just got... It like, No, no, because the thing is, you started it the first quarter, which then recorded. No, it's just got two errors in it. Yeah. No, it's a proper, proper card. No, it's B11. Proper card. Yeah, full photo, full photo. I don't think we used it, like, I didn't see B11 yesterday. Yeah. 
do that the same way.
And welcome back to the third quarter of the NAB AFLW Under-18s game between Queensland and Western Australia. Queensland currently with a slender seven-point lead. Charlotte Curtis, first half for you. Key moment for me was the goal by Smith Bin Omar. Um, it was a quick takeaway from the from the um, centre bounce by the by the WA girls. A quick response to the earlier goal by Bremer. You know, Bin Omar held her front spot, um, take, took a terrific chest mark in the corridor, and it just gave a little bit of belief to the the WA girls that they're right in this game. And the physicality really went up, and it shifted the momentum of the game. Renee Fourth, what do you think about that first half? Any any quick comments? Yeah, I love that the girls are keeping their feet. It gives them the chance to get their seconds and third efforts. Absolutely, and it's great to see McAuliffe back out there. Quick hands from Queensland to try and get it back into their forward line. Drops into Western Australia's arms, and she's been pinged, called for over the shoulder, but some good defensive work there by Awangi. Out over the back, well weighted to Kalinda Howarth again. So a very quick response here from Queensland into about 30 seconds into the third quarter. Well, if there's one thing we, we think the girls do need to develop, it's their marking ability. Often, you know, we, we, as women, we don't have heaps of upper body strength and it's a, an area of the game we have to develop. But it really shows the difference when you get a, a person that can hold a mark like Howarth just then, what you can actually do with the game. She's got a long run up here. She's certainly got a good kicking routine. Looks nice off the foot. And straight through, Howarth, she's very happy. She loves celebrating a goal too, doesn't she? Well, why would you? You're playing at the top level in the country. You're at the best level you can play at here. Enjoy it. Be in the moment. Celebrate it. Get your teammates around you. They've got a challenge coming at them from the WA girls. You've got to bring some energy in response to that. So terrific leadership there by Howarth to take the terrific mark, then go back, finish, even with a goose step in there, and <laughs> then uh, get the girls around her to bring the energy up because they've got, they've got the mind of WA coming right at them. Absolutely. She's an entertaining forward, um, Howarth. It would have been good to see. Cox took that mark, the uh, intercept mark in between two Queenslanders, but she went to play on and wasn't free. So either push back or make sure you're free when you're going to be doing that. So back to the centre bounce or throw up, Bella and McAuliffe. Equal rights on the ball there. Hodder drags down Collingwood. Not giving a free. Gets it, clears it out, though. Somehow finds a way out the back. Finds Dorizzi. Little handball back into Dowrick. Pops it on that big left boot. Doesn't quite get it cleanly. Beats a couple of her own players. Farrah tries to pick it up one-handed. Dives on it. Clears it out the back. Dowrick there again, but cleaned up by Ruby Blair. Good to see that she's back out there as well after going off of the shoulder. That might be Valentini, actually, I think. Nope, that's Valentini. Little right footer. Can't quite find her opponent. Beats a few people. Hodder again. Snap over the shoulder. Good position in front mm. by Kate Bartlett, but can't get it away cleanly. And it, Ellie Hampson helps it over the line. Interesting at that centre bounce. So two players going at each other really physically. And that was Courtney Hodder and the, and the captain from Queensland, Ariana Clark. So who's matching up on who? I don't know who sent who to who, but, geez, it's a great contest. Deegan, tap down. Trying to find a teammate. Trying to recollect the ball herself. But, again, barrelled over that far boundary line. Only about 15 metres around from Western Australia's goals. Tap down, Bella, back Almost inside. Throw. Queensland, whack it on the boot. Spots hotter out the back. That was a good tackle. Jones couldn't quite control it for Queensland. Well. And there'll be a ball up just on the edge of the centre square. Good tap from McAuliffe. It's a bonus for Western Australia that she's back out there. Hill was doing a good job as well. Top of the 50. Farrah back inside. Good snap over the shoulder by White. She's out here. This is Kalinda Howarth, the excitement machine. Spots some free players there. That's Gemma Abbott. Great mark. That was a good hit up. By Georgia Bremer, the goal scorer already. She's got one today. Well, that ball got out then because Hodder went to the contest. Howarth was guarding her up on the 50, but um, left her free to position herself back behind the contest for that quick kick out. Hodder didn't go with her and wasn't influential at the contest, and that's how they got that football out. 
Looks like it's a little bit across the line. That's a great mark in front by Hickey. One of their 180 plus centimetre players. Seriously, Jules, Queensland, sunshine, what happens? You grow them so tall up there. Obviously, I missed that sun. Well, I certainly do as well. <laughs> so Hickey's been quite influential this game. And that puts it through for an easy goal to take Queensland to five goals, to 32 over Western Australia's two goals, one thirteen. WA ne really need to respond here because Queensland have started this second half really well. They're here to play and hopefully they can uh, get this clearance out of the middle and it go their way and they can lock it in down, down inside their 50. So Queensland probably dropping off the other night in that third quarter and letting New South Wales ACT back into it. So whether that's a, a concerted effort from them and they're consciously have made sure that their, their efforts haven't dropped off in that third quarter. I'd almost say it the other way around. It was that New South Wales picked up their game and, and really took it to Queensland on Friday night. So Collingwood can't get it cleanly. Little in the back. Play on, says the umpire. It's Dowrick in there. That was Ariana Clark trying to put it on the left boot. Can't quite clear it. Cleared out the back. Hasn't hit a target in Ugal. Conway. Drives it back, finds her teammate. Back at the centre square, resetting. Another left footer, good position in front. Queensland hold their feet. Steps back inside by Bell Dawes. That's great work. Turn and burn. Gemma Abbott, handball at the back. And the umpire's found a free kick to Queensland. Just a little late hit there by um, Maguire, just as the Queenslander disposed of the ball. So good pick up there from the umpire. So Abbott, another left footer inside. She's found a Western Duffy on her own. Hotter trying to clear it out. It comes Conway. Can't take it up clearly. Good body work from Bremer there on her opponent, Eugle. Again, Duffy towing off the ground. That was Cox. Sorry, thank you. A bit of a pile on down in the uh, pocket. For Queensland, Western Australia desperate just to stem this goal scoring from Queensland. WA need to pick up tight. They're all just facing off right now. There was three right next to each other. Beautifully read again by How Howarth, I think again. That was Gemma Abbott. Cox, handball out. No one wanting to, to grab it though. Beautiful work, good hands, clearance from Queensland. Again, just not going too far this ball. Deegan looks for a teammate. A left foot up, good position. Farrah in front and good body work on Madison Yarin there by Queensland. Try to clear it out. Farrah gets driven into the ground is that Bromage. And good defensive work there from Deegan. And Bella. First hands on, but wet read better by the Western Australians. At the moment, I feel like the WA, play, WA team is sort of missing a bit of charge through the, the inside contest at the stoppages. And I'd like to see Sabrina Duffy in there a little bit more, just using that body strength that she's got and her ability to get the ball out through traffic. They really are missing her drive through the contest. Dorizzi puts it on the boot, drives it forward. That's Yaren again to Darick. It was the right idea to try and hit a target. She just didn't execute it properly. Oh, I can't quite get the hand on that one, Derek. Top of the 50 again. Looking a little bit tired out there. Ball pops out. Ooh. Queensland, desperation. And come up with the ball through Ruby Blair. Almost should have been a free kick for sliding below the knees there against Duffy. Uh, not against Duffy, but to Duffy. So this is Tavia Dunn. Good front position. By Queensland, by Bremer again. She's been good. Good body work. Can't hold her feet. And it'll be a ball up at the top of the 50 for Queensland. So there's Duffy. She's in the contest. She was the same thing up there on the, on the top of the 50 before. But when she's in the contest, WA wins the ball. So they need her more on those stoppages. Bella drives it forward. Can't be controlled. Duffy keeps her feet, picks it up, but again, can't clear it out. 
So Great work for there from our wangy. So they put Duffy at centre half back. She does have good leadership back there, but I do agree. We want to get her into the into the contest and driving the ball out. Groves Little drives it forward. Mm. Oh, and they can't quite keep it in. <laughs> Big defensive shove there from Garston. Interesting to note here, du um, Queensland's rotations are really high. I'd be interested to know what WA is doing. You know, Hot is about to come back onto the field, but massive rotations here from Queensland. Oh, dear, and that's, that's got to be holding the ball, but it's not, apparently. So, by on, says the umpire, Kalinda Howarth. WA very lucky to get away with that right then. Absolutely. It's just a little bit of so the, the structure and the process is sort of falling down. When the pressures come from Queensland, you know, they're playing from behind now, w, oh, Queen, oh, sorry, WA, and just their pressure, their process and their structure is sort of collapsing a bit here. So got to do a bit of work to compose themselves. Duffy. Great grab. Oh. Derek's been fantastic today. Great vision to find that loose player and good finish to thread the needle between two Queenslanders. So if they keep possession, they can bring this ball down into the 50. So there's a downfield free. Play on, says the umpire. That was Derek, little inside. Found her teammate in Schoenfeld. But Ruby Blair has come up with it, running it out beautifully. Found a little bit of space, sees her teammate. Step inside is Kalinda Howarth again. Held on to, not quite be able to, Drizzy can't quite take it down, but they've managed a turnover. Good pressure from the Western Australians. On the near boundary, can't quite get there. Big tall in Caitlin Hill, couldn't quite get down. West Australia need to be able to take those, those marks to keep the pressure on. Bowen in there, working hard. Queensland again. Good pick up and great pressure from Groves Little there. Balls in and under. And the umpire's going to ball it up. Couldn't clear it out. Derek, Derek coming off for a well-deserved break. So Hodder back on. Bella driving it forward again. Queensland not taking it clearly. Collingwood in there. Head over the ball. Umpire's going to ball it up again. Got about three and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Good tap and well read. Hodder straight into it. Queensland underrun it. We have from Western Australia driving it down the is Deegan right down the near wing. That's a really smart kick. She kicked it over the head to the running player in Yaron. That was a really really smart kick. Yaron over the back, well read, better read by Queensland. Steps inside it, tries to clear it, but there's a wall of Western Australians sitting out there. That's Ricky Ryan. Some Western Australians pushing down. Not much movement in that forward line. But a great grab. I think it's Deegan. Well, they're lucky she took the mark there, Deegan, because there were no small crummers at the feet of the contest there. And you've got to have them there. Really small, dangerous forwards that can capitalise on the ground ball. Deegan's draft eligible, and she's really played. She's stepped up in this quarter. She's played a good, good start to this quarter. And that's Deegan's first goal for the match, which brings Western Australia 3-1-19. Still trailing Queensland's 5-4-34. Well, yeah, Deegan's a top ager. As we said, there are 10 top ages in each of the teams today, hopefully trying to get themselves onto an AFLW list at the end of this year. But certainly Deegan's performance across the whole weekend has been really consistent. She's had done some really good defensive um, pressure acts. And then on top of that, you know, as we can see there, she can finish in goal. And I really like the way she let up and she owned the, the fall of the ball and, and took that mark and went back, good set shot routine and, and finished off really well to put WA back in the hunt. And just a fun fact on Deegan, blind in one eye. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's unreal. So good work from her and Bella, little tap back, well done. Good work from Queensland, Collingwood, pops it on the boot, puts it over the top and well read by Conway. Drives it out wide, looking for Farquharson. Step inside, thank you. Pick it. Western Australia, drive it back down the ground. Trying to find some support. Queensland, oh. get there first. Did that kick that off of a foot? Bromwich, that looked a little Gaelic football. Gaelic, yeah, I was going to say. Fantastic. Yeah. Queensland again. Good numbers. Beautiful. Oh, well done, by by Fantastic. Well read again by, by Queensland. They're just, that relentless pressure on, on Western Australia, making it difficult for them to clear it out all the time. A little tap forward. Hotter again. She's got some pace to burn, just manages to get a hand on it. And she red hot on hotter today, as you would be. Good work by Queensland, front position. Doing well, probably need to hit that target. 
Put a bit of pressure. Ariana Clark, got some work to do here now. Pushes it round to a fellow Queenslander. Drives it down the wing, kicking for space. Good talk from the Queenslanders. Trying to help each other out. Can't tackling. quite clear it out. And wrapped up by Western Australia. Well, Roxanne Rue, she, she hit that contest, but she went beyond the football and she had she left two Queenslanders ahead of the ball. And lucky she was able to trap that in. But if she had nerf, Queensland were way out there. Cara Dada, good work. Down to Sargent. It's McAuliffe. That was good. Little handball off to Hodder. Great read. Well done by Queensland. And that's the end of the third quarter. An eventful quarter with Western Australia trying to play a bit of catch-up with Queensland currently leading 5-4, 34. Western Australia's 3-1, 19.
And we're back for the fourth quarter in the NAB AFLW under-18s game between Queensland and Western Australia. Queensland currently leading 5-4-34 to Western Australia's 3-1-19. Renee Forth, what does Western Australia need to do from here? Who needs to step up? Oh, well, yeah, so this second half we've seen a couple of their um, mature age players there 18-year-olds such as Maguire and Deegan step up, but I'd really like to see them still utilise the ball when they get possession. They're attacking so hard and they're working so hard, but they're not really composed and they're wasting their opportunities. And um, just as we're talking, I've noticed that Duffy's gone back into the middle, so it's good to see that we're going to get her in and um, drive the ball out. Absolutely. Good ruck contest here, but Hodder again comes up with it as usual. Farah in a beautiful position, reads it beautifully. Western Australian route through Maguire, can't clear up a bow in that Signature kick around the corner. Western Australia come up with it through Schoenfeld. Drive it into their pocket. Can't control it and the ball's barreled over. Great, good positive start. Shiloh Curtis, what do Western Australia need to do to get home? Look, they've, got to, they've just got to own the front spot and they've got to control their decision-making. Got to be a little bit more composed under pressure. They've got 15 minutes to work their way, you know, to work their way forward. It's only a couple of kicks behind, so uh, just composure is the key here. Good work from Western Australia here. Bowen again around the corner. Loves that kick. Does he get a little hand on it from Queensland? And she does manage to get a touch on it. Great work from Bowen. Very attacking. Smith bin Omar is really holding that front spot. She's doing a lot of body work there to give her team the best opportunity. So very impressive from her. Queensland. Bring it back in. There's been a free. And she's got 50, but I think it's going over the mark too early. A little yes. bit keen, Western Australia. I think there was a whistle from the umpire to hurry the player up. And then, the, and then Smith bin Omar has actually taken that as the play on. So um, she's overstepped the mark, unfortunately. So little processes like that under pressure really cost you. Absolutely. Tani White to take the free. Directing a bit of traffic for Queensland. Clears it out to this near wing. Red better by the Western Australians through Darick. Puts it on that reliable left boot. Good position and a little in the back, I think, from Queensland. Oh, surely, surely you'd pay the advantage Surely. Yeah. Apparently not. It's really interesting how yeah. umpires choose, pick and choose when they want to play advantage. So um, let's see. Hopefully she slots this through. So as you mentioned before, Shiloh, Smith bin Omar having that front position. She's been a really good target up forward for the WA girls, having a great presence there. So hopefully she can go back and straighten up and, and kick the goal. And make up for that free kick that she just gave before. A little bit out of her range, I think. Got a hand on it. And they can push it through for another behind for Western Australia. Just, they just need to lock it in and keep it down here and get another opportunity and another shot at goal. Oh, well, Queensland <laughs> clearing it out. Finds a teammate in Bremer. Oh, oh, big flies. Contest. Queensland desperate to get that ball. Dragged in by Bromwich. Cleared out the back. Here's Hodder again. Snapping around the corner. Smothered off the boot. And the ball is barreled over the side. Maybe a free kick being held without the ball, I would think. Yeah, possibly. I would. I want to see Hodder turn the other direction. Not always go for that snap over the shoulder. She had Dowrick uncontested on the top of the 50 then. And she just didn't look inboard. Hotter again, little hands, very quick hands. Queensland moves the ball well. Well controlled by Western Australia. Yeah, they've got opportunities in the corridor here and they've just, they just don't play the corridor at all WA. Big fly, big pack. Somehow loses the ball to Deegan. Queensland, good front position. Oh. She's got some pressure on here. Has she touched that? That's what they needed. So. That's Western Australia. Have got their fourth goal to lessen the gap to seven points. Queensland 5 4 34, Western Australia 4 3 27. So I think the three quarter time break, we were sort of talking about who we think might win and why. And Queensland certainly just having that two goal buffer certainly was an advantage. But the team that can keep composed under the pressure of this game is probably going to bring it home. Um, and what we're seeing at the moment with WA responding and, and, and they've got 15 minutes to get themselves back into the game, Queensland have just made a few small errors, dropping behind their player, turning the ball over, a bit unsure with their kicking by foot. So, you know, this competition is about developing the experience needed to cope with the pressure at the top level. And it's good practice for these Queenslanders. Let's see if they can bring it home. Big fist forward from Bella. Read beautifully by the Queenslanders. Drives it straight deep into their inside 50. Run onto it. Was Hickey. She's been strong this game. 
Good work from Queensland there, holding their feet. Try to drive it forward. West Australia, awesome pressure. Can't quite get it. It was Derisi, couldn't hold her feet. Driven forward again, turned around. West Australia, try to clear it out. Big fly from the back. Falls into the arms of McAuliffe. Down the far wing. Farah's there, takes it beautifully judged. Kicks Crossfield, tries to find it, as you were saying before, Shiloh tries to work laterally. They're doing that well. Bromage brings it back through the central corridor. Well read game by Queensland. And simply by going laterally, they're able to find people in space and they've just done that through, um, I think it's Arwangi, isn't it? Another left footer. It's a good kick. There's only one person back there and he has to beat one. No crumbers for Queensland. Would have been perfect to have someone sneak around the outside there and get that uh, little crumb and kick a goal for the Queensland. I would have liked Arwangi to go back and go through a routine and have a you know, really clear set shot on goal. Ball kicked back in. Oh, just over the head of Queenslander. Little shove in the back, and she's that's a little bit soft. Very unlucky to McAuliffe, but was a little hand in the back. Queensland a tight angle here for Bremer. Just looking for someone to kick to. Doesn't look overly confident on this angle. Good to see Hotter there lurking at the top of the goal square for the crumbs. Bremer drops a bit oh. short. Oh, and it's fallen <laughs> directly into the arms of Hickey, I think. And that's simply a case of not knowing your opposition well enough. You know, knowing that Bremer wasn't very confident. She's always kept her ball, the ball pretty low and flat, and it was likely to drop a little bit short. So they needed to know her opposition a little bit better and make sure they own that front spot. And that's Hickey's second goal for the game. She's had an outstanding game so far, taking Queensland's lead. 6 5 41 to 4 3 27 over Western Australia. That was a good answer from Queensland. WA started that quarter really well and got that. All the ball was in, in their half, and now they've just had that ruck tap from Bella, punched forward, and they've kept it down their half and ended with a goal. So we've still got plenty of time left in this quarter for Western Australia to compose themselves and get some scores on the board. Only trailing at the moment by two goals, two. With about just under eight minutes left in this final quarter. Good tap by Bella. Well read by Howarth. Puts it on the boot. Great work. Good strong mark by Bremer. She's been excellent for a small forward. Top of the 50. Hands it off to Kalinda oh. Howarth again. Sells it. Pops it out the back. Might run on. Doesn't. West Australia can't hold their feet. That was Garston. Out the back. Tries to clear it out the far side. No players there. Only Queensland. Might just beat them out. Is that deliberate? Well, she kicked a space, not to a player, because it was, there was there were three WA girls out there. So whether we're paying it for kicking to space, then you know, you'd almost say it was. Smart play, I'd say. The boundary throw in on the far pocket. Just near the flank, in fact. Western Australia desperate to get another score on the board. Keep them in the game. Good tap down by Hickey. Little toe along. Groves Little. Drives it back inside. There's players out the back for Western Australia. Can't hold it. Take it cleanly though. Good tap on. That's Hickey again. Garston trying to clear it. Queensland back inside. Gets it on the boot. Oh, and just misses to the left. For a behind to Queensland. They're going to play on quickly here. They've got a player on here, and they've done exactly that. Now they've got to get the overlap here. We need play, they need players streaming across to the fat side, the skinny side of the ground, which they had no one there. And Shalene Queensland have gotten there first. Great work there from Bowen from Collingwood. Read it better than she did. Farah can't pick it up cleanly. Top of the 50. Drives it downfield. Queensland run onto it, get first use. Little step inside. Good work there by Queenslanders. Groves Little drives it forward again. Plays on. Was called a mark, though. Finds her teammate. That's good talk. In Bartlett. She's got Yaron on here if she, if she move quickly. Good numbers from Queensland. Oh, oh she stepped inside ball. beautifully. And Yaron. Oh, Finishes. yes. 
It's a great goal. Well, there was terrific leadership there by Yaren. She called it early. She saw that, I mean, Bartlett called her, her teammate out of the contest, but Yaren saw what was happening down the field and she was burning forward. She's run a fair way to take that mark and uh, Bartlett positioned the ball really well, placed it over, over the top of the defender, saw that Yaren had the run on. She kept her feet in the marking contest. She didn't take it, but she squared up, straightened she gets up. She a lovely and kind that bounce goal. too. Absolutely. How's the bounce? Straight back into her lap. Don't take it away from her. <laughs> <laughs> it was all the work of Yaren. Well, we've got game one here. There's only nine points of difference. We've still got enough time, five, five minutes to go. So let's see what the WAN Queensland girls will do in the last five minutes of this last game of this round. <laughs> so cricket balling, yeah, absolutely. So Bella against Hill. Bella gets a good tap. She's been good. Playing in front. Straight down the throat with Bowen. Pushes back. When WA play in front, they win the ball. Yeah. We saw that last week with the Northern Territory as well. Once oh. they're in front. Look. Bartlett. Oh, I reckon that's her first playing blemish behind. for the uh, first blemish for the carnival. And she gets the ball playing from behind. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> that's why got she a, didn't kick she it. She got a kind bounce. <laughs> kind bounce over the top of the defenders. So Bremer bring it back in. Actually, it was like doors. Straight down the throat. Good work. Turn and burn. Well done. Quick play from Queensland. Spots Great. a loose player. Well done. Can't, can't grab it. Hickey. Straight down the middle. They can of run the and ground. carry here. Great work from Conway. Got numbers though, Western Australia. But oh. Queensland, good strength. Great work from, I think that's Ariana Clark, the captain. Been. Isn't it terrific to see the girls respond? You know, there's a goal scored at one end and then straight away they're out, or there's a behind and they're able to go coast to coast and they're able to work and transition really quickly up and down the field. It's really terrific to see the capacity, the running capacity of all these girls. Great strength there from Ariana Clark, two on one. She's obviously pretty confident that she's going to get this. With the pushed back straight away, knew that she was going to have a shot. And as soon as I say that, she misses to the right. Probably a bit too close to the player on the mark then. She, she needed to go back and just remove that person as a distraction and just set shot routine out, away we go. Big pack fly. Wheels around the outside. Oh, gets it on the boot. And kicks it out in the full Queensland. So a little reprieve for Western Australia. That was Tani White. Couldn't control it. Bring it back in will be Emily Pickett for Western Australia. Spots Duffy. It's very mm. crowded down the line by all the players. That they need to create a little bit more space. I think well, Queensland have really picked up on the fact that, as you said before, Charlotte, that they're kicking down the line all the time. They're not trying to switch it. So they just keep flooding it there. And given there's no time on here, if w, if all Queensland need to do is just keep finding the boundary if WA is not prepared to go inboard. Out over the back, well read by Queensland. Couldn't quite get a boot on it, though. West Australia running it out of danger. Dowrick. And running out of handball. time. Oh, great Two hands. Two and a half minutes to go. That was quick, quick kick in there by Deegan. However, turnover with Collingwood. She spots a player out the back. That Lovely really finish good. from Collingwood good work. There. I think that's Hickey again. She's been very good today. Another loose player for Queensland. Contested mark. Can't quite get it. it was Conway. West Australia pick it up through Rue. Handball out the back. Over the top. Running onto his Derizzi. Queensland get their first, had the eyes up. Didn't quite take it cleanly in the hand. Spots a spare player from Queensland in Yorston again. Handballs it out, moves it quickly, runs around her opponent. Slots it and she gets a hand on it. That is great work from Garston. Well, tough work here for WA trying to exit the ball out of their back 50 because most of the players are in one half of the field. I think there are two or three pairs that are staying in one half and the other end consistently. So they've got to get the ball through a lot of players to be able to work the ball forward. So Duffy spots Cara Dada in the middle of the field on her own. She She's wasn't given many options, so playing on was one of them and probably the best at that time. And that'll be in the back. Free kick to Queensland. It would good to see her t um, take more of the ground and run that a little bit further. Collingwood again spots a loose Queensland player. And Yorston, I think that is again. A little bit off the side of the boot, so they have a chance to repel here. That's Duffy again. Driving it forward. Picking the ball up is Bartlett. 
It was a poor decision there by Duffy to go to a contest. It was a one-on-two, and she had Michaela Bowen out on out on the flank on her own, just did not looking laterally, just looking downfield, a little bit narrow-minded at this point. It's good work from Deegan over the shoulder. Can't be held by the Queensland, but they managed to have the ball come up through Perry. And that far side is Conway again. She's got some good possessions today. Down the far wing. Good position in front. Takes a time. Very composed as Dawes. At the back, but beautiful work. Well read there by Roxanne Rue from Western Australia on the far wing. Only seconds left on the clock. It's going to be too late for the Western Australians. So Queensland very happy with their win. 6-8-44 over Western Australia, 5-4-34. Your uh, sort of best players on ground today, Charlotte? Yeah, look, I thought Kalinda Howarth really set w, uh, sorry, Queensland up really well in that first half. She had an extraordinary first half of the game. And I think some of the defensive work or the work done on the opposition by the Queenslanders to just nullify the impact of, you know, Hotter and Duffy. We had, they, they had to, you know, WA had to bring Hotter back into defence a little bit more, which took her out of the midfield, which took away the drive of the WA team. So well coached there by, by the Queenslanders. But certainly Collingwood's really stood up. Love the work, as I said, at Howarth. But, um, you know, even Lauren Bell has worked through the middle. And Ariana Clark as the captain really standing up and leading from the front, particularly when those responses from WA came. West Australian, best on for you? So, yeah, in the first half, obviously, um, Duffy played unreal. And then, and like like you said, Shiloh, she got pulled back. And Hodder, Hodder did good through the middle as well. She's great attack on the ball. And I really liked how um, Rosie Deegan stepped up in that second half. She created a lot of the play. And I think she was... Part of the reason why they got most of their goals in that second half. Absolutely. So we've got uh, Hickey with two goals for Queensland, Howarth with three, and Bremer with one. And for Western Australia, Smith bin Omar with one, Yaron with two, and Bartlett with one today, uh, as well as Deegan with one. So that's all we've got from the NAB AFLW under 18s game. Queensland versus Western Australia will be back with the Victorian Country v Metro game in a few weeks. I think it's the 17th of June um, from Simmons Stadium. Correct. I think it's a double header, a, cur- a double header with the boys, uh, Vic Country, Vic Metro down there as part of their under-18 national championship. So down at Cadinia Park or whatever it's called nowadays, but really terrific to the, that Geelong will host um, the first ever Country Metro match in Melbourne. Absolutely. In we look forward to your company then. Thank you very much.